The following is a presentation of KSL Sports. First and 12. A total roundup of this weekend's BYU football and the new look Big 12 Conference. First and 12 is sponsored by Macy's Grocery Store. Your hosts are Mitch Harper and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio and the KSL Sports Zone. That new look Big 12 is going to feature the four corner schools next year. Each week here on First and 12, Mitch Harper, Alex Keery, we get a look around the four corners, Utah, Arizona, Arizona State, and Colorado, what they're up to. We keep tabs on them, and we do it every single week in our Four Corners Whip Around. The Four Corners Whip Around. Whip Around. We check on future Big 12 opponents and rivals from the Four Corners. All right, let's start things off with, uh, I predicted it last week, Arizona State showing up against the number five Washington Huskies. You called it. I said it was going to be a little bit of a sleeper game for for Washington. They're still a little bit hungover from that win over their rival Oregon, and uh, sure enough, it took a 90-yard pick six for them to get this win. Michael Penix Jr., zero touchdowns, two interceptions on the night. Uh, and so there's a little something that – you know, if you're if if you're Arizona State, you go look. We are one and six, but it seems like they've been close in a lot of these games. So I, you know, I, I don't totally write off what they're doing at Arizona State because I think there's a lot of pride right there in that program because they're building something. But you know, uh, it, you got close, and uh, Washington, you can't have a game like that against against a non Arizona school, a non Arizona State school. But uh, that's what the Sun Devils did uh, across. Uh, in this one but yeah like i said that's a nice th- th- you knew that they were going to be able to kenny dillingham poor guy i hate saying that because it's like bless his heart but you know what that team's uh, that team's not not very good they're one and six like i said but they've been close in a lot of games and their only win is against southern utah the remaining schedule washington state at utah at ucla oregon arizona mm-hmm. They might be going one and eleven, but hey, yep. just show promise, show signs that you can maybe build on it because Dillingham's a good recruiter, and I think he he'll get some good talent to Tempe. But uh, it is a big rebuild. Uh, Herm Edwards left that cupboard bare, but that, so that was a nice effort c- competing against a high powered offense like like Washington, and only limiting them to fifteen points. Uh, next up in the uh, in the school wild closet. game. I would, you know, this this one, of course, the local flair on this one's a big time, and uh, let me just go with the big headline, of course, which is that Cam Rising is out for the rest of the season for the Utah Utes. Not shocked at all, but we finally at least got word. Uh, you know, they 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 kept it under their hat long enough. Whatever, Cam Rising out for the rest of the year, and the Utah Utes have gone four and zero in the last four games against USC. And speaking of teams who never want to play other teams again, USC will be so happy to see Utah in the rear view. But a uh, final kick at the at the buzzer there uh, by Cole Becker. Uh, you get yourself a a win, and Kyle Whittingham is just a freaking magician against against USC. And poor Caleb Williams was sad on the sidelines. Mitch, I don't know if you saw it after the game, but he wasn't very happy about this one. Nobody showed his fingernails, and I'm mad about it. I thought that was a big storyline. No one showed it. I was disappointed in that too that we didn't see uh, an update on on the nails. <laughs> like it was first time I uh, have ever been curious. Hey, well, what's on those nails? Uh, maybe yeah, yeah. I, I, I needed to say that more to my wife. She's getting her done, and I always like go. Oh. She's like, you didn't notice my nails, and I was like, well. They're not like Caleb Williams. They don't have uh, explicit <laughs> messages on them. But, uh... Blank, Mitch. <laughs> then she, she then proceeds to say that after I don't recognize them. Uh, but, uh, you know, you at Utah, it's, it's, they have just found ways to get it done. And, you know, to win 34-32 to 32 at USC, suddenly, Alex, I think they've been, they're set up to chase again a three-peat. You know, a couple weeks ago, I thought, no way. They're, they're not going to come close to having a three-peat, but... They're in the hunt once again for the Pac-12. And I'm curious, too, you brought up Cam Rising. You know, there's a lot of talk about he gets a medical red shirt. He's got to get approved for that by the NCAA. Do we yeah. see him in the Big 12 next year, or does he maybe transfer, you think? Like, what's, what do you think is the probability that he is actually lining it up in some Big 12 action next year, you think? Here's the thing is I don't think he's a big-time NFL guy. Like, And yeah. uh, after a year like this, I mean, he was already not really somebody who was going to be – uh, a draft pick type guy. He was probably more along the lines, according to a lot of scouts, going to be a late, late round guy or just frankly 
undrafted. And when you're that kind of that kind of grade and you don't have anything to show from your senior year, yeah, you have a pretty really you have a really good resume. And it's a, and it's pretty sharp. Uh, but I don't know. The thing is, is that there's a little bit of ill will with him rolling out the way he did. And I know injuries are injuries, but I think there's this feeling that people felt like he kept it under his hat so he could get paid, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Like these guys have to take care of themselves. But the only problem with that is, is that now I don't think you're going to see that money that, you know, might be something that could be the lure. Isn't that weird that we're talking about that? But that <laughs> money I think is a, is a, it's a real thing. I mean that, and if you're not, if it's not on the table, and if you don't have the the wherewithal to be like, you know what, I don't know if I want to come back for another year uh, to try to do this thing again and maybe injure myself again and then really be done with the NFL stuff. But, you know, who knows? These guys can make their own decisions. But, yeah, camerizing, uh, you know, wrapping it up. Bryson Barnes earning his freaking keep, man. He did it, and uh, and it was it was a nice win for the Utes and just pulled it out. That Those close games have been signature and uh, don't – don't call it a non-rivalry. Uh, even though it goes off into the sunset, it was one of the best ones we've seen in recent history. Big win, and the Big 12 gets a split against the Big 10 in these games. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I, USC hates everybody, right? <laughs> now they just can't wait. They want to beat everyone, but they hate everyone, but they hate Utah more and, than any, anybody. And has Caleb, has Caleb Williams become instantly unlikable? 100%. It, just, it, it feels like... He's just became an unlikable player. Where at first yeah. I think everyone just loved how he played, and now it's like you know what, just move on to the NFL already because yeah. he's, his personality is easy to not cheer for. Right, doing the Dr Pepper commercials and and everybody looking at him going, but he is he's you know this week when he was asked about it and he got after that Notre Dame guy who uh, did you see that whole interaction by the way yes. he goes after that Notre Dame student who mm-hmm. uh, you know goes out who puts him on his TikTok and he goes you know I can't pay attention to some sheep who's out there I'm a lion I don't pay attention to that and you're like dude you just mentioned it he won this this nameless kid just <laughs> won the battle but yeah uh, I've never liked him <laughs> so yeah. uh, so there you go I mean I like I like competitors and he is one but yeah, you know, there's there's an ego there, and I think USC doesn't help with that. And that's your four corners whip around right there. Uh, we'll come back. We will uh, we will jump back in again, and let's give you a preview as to what the rest of the Big Twelve schedule looks like next week. Uh, some teams going to their bye weeks, and some. I mean, we're going to be it back into some full 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 schedules again, but lots going on next week. A bunch of games you don't want to miss. We'll tell you about it next. Stay right here. It is first and twelve right here on KSL News Radio and as heard also on the KSL Sports Zone and download the podcast wherever you can find your fine podcast. More to go. Stay with us.